Hi guys, <clears throat> I hope you are all well. Today I want you to show you something different. I want you to show you shape shifter, not scan, shape shifter, the Mac emulator for the Amiga, the Roland MT32 working with shape shifter, and multi monitor because you can do that with shape shifter. I will show you how. For multi monitor, you have to configure the graphics section. Choose two monitors. I will choose for bit 16 color, Amiga planes, bit planes, of course. And I will choose here then the normal Amiga output because I have the Vampire. Vampire uh, is outputting the video signal through the HDMI. HDMI and the second monitor is connected to the, the video output from the Amiga there and then I will choose here PAL IRS LACED LACED because I have installed in the Amiga 2000 and uh, the interlacer so I can do this without flickering screens or something like that okay then for the Roland to work with shape shifter some genius guy wanted that and created a device this device replaces the normal serial device um, it's a patch and I will show you how it works this patch is connected with a program uh, from shape for for the mic. I will tell you which one. But yes, the the serial device must be replaced with the MIDI device. I will leave a link where you can download the this device if you want to test with your computer with your Amiga at all. So let's start shape shifter multi monitor roland 32 let's do let's see what it can do for us <coughs> let's first check the monitors here you go to the settings control panel monitors here you have both monitors identify one two you can choose if you want gray scales or colors we want colors for both of them colors so and to configure the the Roland with shape shifter we need some programs that I will leave in the, the description link including the program that is connecting to the MIDI device is this one here MIDI phone it's a program that uh, permits MIDI communications but because shape shifter have no support for MIDI output the guy that created the, the MIDI device uh, use this use it to use this this program so and that's here that's why I like the multi monitor function because I can see what is going on in the MIDI communications so first we need to tell the program to activate MIDI MIDI is now activated and let's try here some games that support MIDI. There ain't no many games that support MIDI. Most are from Sierra or support MIDI or support the Roland MT32. You have to configure the games to, to use uh, the MT32. Okay. 
good work thank you very much and let's try where is it one it's loading it takes a bit to load the game I can see already <clears throat> the message is coming through to the Roland a baby that is nice and I still have access to the second monitor what's your sign? desktop nice nice yeah thank you very much <clears throat> tall my than is I don't know working. Let's try it again. Well, let's try something else. Leisure, Leisure Sweet Larry 5. Welcome to Larry 5. Tells the Roland. Takes a bit to load. There you go. I'll read the place. Skipped, skip, yes. 
Last one, okay. Mr. Larry. I don't know where should I go. Well, okay, guys, that's all. I just wanted to show you that MIDI and the Roland can work together with the shape shifter emulator. Have a nice day, guys. <laughs>